What's going on everybody? That's right, Susie Ruin from the Malgana Surfer here, and this time I'm here to save you from your nightmares. Your lucid nightmares. I'm gonna take the sting out of this process a little. Follow my instructions and use the Wowhead guide for additional assistance. It has more details with exact coordinates if you get lost. This will be quick, and I'm gonna break it down into a few easy steps. You'll want to install the add-on Lucid Nightmare Helper. But Susie, add-ons, come on man! Just trust me. This one really helps. Also, craft or have crafted for you a Shadow Weave Mask. You can also snag one on the auction house. Toss that boy in your bags and let's move on. First steps are just reading a series of notes and solving some minor puzzles. They aren't particularly hard, so I'll make this quick and easy. And we'll do this in a series of steps. Step 1. First thing you want to do, head to Dalaran. This is the Legion Dalaran. So use whatever method to get there you can. You'll likely have a purple hearthstone. Use that. If not, get creative. Then enter curiosities and more. Click on the note here, and bam, that's step one. Step two, we're gonna head to Orgrimmar and take the portal to the Wrath version of Dalaran. We're going to Ulduar. Clear out Flame Leviathan and XT Deconstructor. Click on this lever, and think of the puzzle as a grid, with you at the entrance of the room facing north you'd be at the bottom of this grid. Now, make this red hot chili peppers looking thing and collect the next note that spawns in the room. It'll be in the middle among these red switches. Step three, we're gonna pay a visit to some old god territory. Head to AQ40 or the Temple of Ankuraj, not to be confused with the ruins of AQ. The quickest way is Orgrimmar to Old Doom Portal, and that's the same portal that you use for the Nazoth Assaults. Then light path closest to AQ. Now you're going to want to clear out the entire instance, except the last boss, C'Thun. Not necessary, but you know, do you. Go here, past C'Thun's room, and click the mine larva in the center of the altar. Solve this little puzzle by aligning five of the yogg saron looking brain things together. They look like jellyfish. Once you win, click the note here. Step four, go to Orgrimmar and take the portal to Deep Home. Put on that Shadow Weave mask. Next, fly down into this cave thing and click on this fissure. You'll get a dialogue box and you'll want to enter the fissure. Once down there, you can read the plaque on the back of the chair and click on the skull in the middle of the chair and that'll reveal the next note. Read it and you're done. Step 5. Head to Orgrimmar and jump the Zeppelin to STV. Use this transporter to hit up Nomrigan. Follow my route as shown and you'll arrive at a bank of levers. Right click them to interact. We want to set the numbers from left to right as follows. 1, 2, 2, 2, 1, 7, 6, 5, 9, 7. After that's entered, the levers will deactivate themselves and the node will appear in the middle of the row of levers on the ground. Read it and head back to Legion Dalaran. Step 6, Purple Hearthstone works best, but get to Legion Dalaran however you can. We're heading to Star Song Refuge. Now, we head really close to the rare spawn, Wraith Talon, usually patrols outside at 66.5, 36.0, and uh, there's a house here we need to visit. Follow this path and go inside. Once inside, on the left wall, click the Nightmare Tumor and solve the stringy tangly puzzle. Once all lines are blue, the note will spawn in front of the tumor. Read it and head back to Orgrimmar. Now, at this point, if you don't have a few hours to dedicate to the end part of this, I recommend stopping here and coming back when you do. The last maze can take some time. If you leave it overnight, it will also reset. To give hope, however, it took me only about 45 minutes with the add-on. It's possible I was really lucky, but the add-on really helped a lot. Now, let's move on with the final steps. Step 7. Once in Orgrimmar's portal room, take the portal to Jade Forest. Once you load in, 
hop over to the flight master, Wing Hya, and take a flight to One Keg and Kun Lai Summit. Here's the map of where we're heading, 53.3,49.3 coordinates. Enter the Tomb of Secrets and go right to this urn, then choose to enter the maze. Now, here's where I'll explain how I use this add-on. Type forward slash LN and it will open a grid. The grid will automatically map the rooms you visit. The main objective to the maze is simple. There are two items you want to interact with, the colored orbs and the corresponding colored runes. Take each orb to its rune of like color. It's that simple. Now a great deal of patience will be needed here as there is a hidden mechanic to the maze. Some random rooms will teleport you to random places on the map and this will ruin your map. To avoid this mechanic, what I did was I'd find one orb or rune and match it. Then use the X in the upper right hand corner of the add-on to reset the map after each match. I did one rune, an orb at a time, resetting in between each time. Anytime I'd find an orb though, I'd pick it up, so I always had one on hand just in case I found its match. Consult the Wowhead guide for more explanation if needed on those mechanics. This is just how it worked for me. This can take some time, and once you've matched all five orbs and runes, nothing will happen. You'll also need to move into any adjacent room after that, and it'll teleport you at that time to the last room, which has another inconspicuous note. Read it and hearth out. Now we're going to go to Orgrimmar, then to STV. We'll take a flight from STV to Stonard and the Swamp of Sorrows, and from there fly to Karazhan. Do it. Jump into the catacombs, which are now open. Follow this route and loot your mount. Not sure if I'm extremely lucky or not, but after tinkering with the add-on a bit, I found this rather easy. It may vary in time for you, but these are the steps to complete. Another little tidbit that I want to add on here to the end is that on PTR, I noticed that all of the mounts that are in this school, which I'll call the Courser School, uh, are now flying mounts. So I'm thinking in Shadowlands, they're probably going to end up being flying mounts. So now's a good time to go ahead and get your purple nightmare flying mount. It's pretty, pretty cool. So do the YouTube stuff if you want, like, bell, etc. Leave a comment on how this went for you, what have you. Uh, also follow me on Twitter at Suzy Ruin. And thanks for watching.